So, or was vegetarian, and uh, today uh, still he has his key. And okay, so uh, yeah. So uh, recall that uh, a what's the rational? For every system parameter, the tight closure, so the system parameter is tightly closed. Okay, and so, so I. So first, uh, remark that uh, if A is F rational, then so is for so namely so the F rationality localizes. So this is proved by Nakamura and. And also by Hoxha and Hunek. So, so you, uh, so, so how, how about uh, F regular, uh, F, F regular localize? So uh, this is open. I believe still, and but uh, so there is a notion of strongly a figure that's local as and so the second thing is that if A is F rational, uh, sorry. F is F rational. Mm. And A is F rational. And Gorenstein. So is F regular. A is So uh, let me uh, the proof this uh, uh, so idea of the proof so this proof so it suffices so every and primary. I I that uh, we can take yeah, parameter idea. So since A is Gorenstein, so of course this is Gorenstein too. And we have, yeah, I go, yeah. So uh, W dual come come back to the original one by Gorenstein property, and then so so there is uh, some easy lemma. So if I is tightly closed, then for 
any idea. Uh, so it's uh, I put on ah. So so of course this is parameter idea and by assumption try to close. And so this is yeah, column of this is yeah. So this is tight and close too. Okay. And then we come to the new section. Mm, that closure of modules. So, of course, we have for a business map A to A. And in this case, we write so E here. So, this is an A module. So, the, the operation is obtained by. by Map. And okay, so for uh, air module M, we put Fe of M is yeah, M tensor A. The easy way to uh, so recognize is so if M is finitely generated, we have presentation of N. And this way. And this map is described by some M by N matrix. And then tensoring A E we have we have the same and only thing is so uh, this is uh, changes to the power Q's power of each element. And for a sub module, so this is a functor in this. Uh, this is a functor. Of course, right, right exact functor of the category of A modules. Yeah. So if if M is finitely generated. Okay? Ah uh, <laughs> uh, so this is a for general. So this is a explanation in, in the case of finitely generated. If okay. So, so if we take a sub module, a sub module, so we have map in this by inclusion, but not necessarily injective anymore. And so we note. And bracket Q, we call the image of this map. So, <laughs> uh, 
I hope this is okay for you. And yes, so note that if so I is an ideal in I, so the so uh, the definition bracket Q is the same as before. Okay. And yes. So a tight closure. in M is defined as for X M. So X is in tight closure of N in M if and only if for some uh, not for every Q C X to the Q. Ah, sorry. One more thing. <laughs> so uh, in mm, X so for X uh, in here uh, so the image of yeah X here is X to the Q, so uh, X Q is the image C is okay equal so X tensor one. See the Q is included in and bracket Q, yeah. And note that, so it is easy to show. So, so we can, uh, yes, consider the factor module and zero is the same as an tight closure of n in m model of n. So in some sense, it is suffices, suffices to consider case n equal zero. Okay. And yeah. So uh, and so if M is not finitely generated. Uh, so we take so the M finitely generated is union of. column M prime where M prime runs every sub module of M which is finitely generated. And yes, okay. So 
the most important, there are two very important modules in this. dimension is D, then one is HD, so this local cohomology, another is the injective envelope. Injective envelope. Perhaps uh, everyone is familiar with injective envelope. So, is there somebody not familiar with injective envelope? Okay, so, uh, yeah, okay. Everybody knows injective envelope very well. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's go on. So, okay. So, uh, So then, the next M, yeah, M, local dimension D. Hmm. Of course, yeah. So, so A is weakly irregular. Tight closure of zero is zero. And so second A is of rational. Tight closure of zero. And local cohomology is zero. Uh, in this case, uh, so of course, this is not a finitely generated module, but uh, so since uh, this is a natural union of so. Uh, mm. So uh, factor module parameter. Uh, Idea so no set. Uh, the local cohomology A is computed by if so for for uh, Checks complex. Uh, of a parameter idea. So, well, this part is the same as saying that 
every parameter ITL is tight, tightly closed. Parameter. Okay. And so, okay, so. So my, my resume is not uh, <laughs> yeah not not available yet uh, yeah okay <laughs> but uh, anyway I I want to skip this <laughs> uh, so mm. but uh, so. I would like to say one thing. So, so for E, <coughs> yeah. So we consider the circle of this. So uh, it is w well known that uh, this is principal. And uh, this uh, element plays very important role. So uh, in this, so uh, uh, I, I hope the resume will be ready soon, but so uh, A is F regular in this sense. F, uh, yeah. So not to zero is equivalent to say this element is, this is a very trivial fact, but very, still very important. Okay, so, and yeah. So this is uh, the same to say for every C. <coughs> come to the definition of S pairing. So sorry, yes. Not 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. And then, so, the, we define uh, FPR. So we defined the as pure. So and uh, yeah, this is this notion is the older than tight closure and the oldest of. Uh, And yes, okay. So, and uh, okay. So this is yes, in another way. Uh, the, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Do we need some condition? <laughs> Maybe we need some condition. So at least, so we say that, yeah. A, a is a, a finite. So, is a finite uh, module. So this appeared already so lectures of <laughs> yeah you mm. and so yeah this is at, at least okay so if we as, assume there is a finite and so uh, to repeat so uh, the yes if K is a perfect field, yeah. So uh, I prefer uh, the notation. I yes, and the, yes, this is yeah also used by Kevin, and then. X one to X D one over Q has yeah. Of course, uh, this is yeah. And uh, perfect, of course. Is, uh, since we can take the same K here. Come to the theta square criterion. Mm -hmm. 
So assume that A is B, so A maximal ideal. regular occurring then <coughs> A is F pure if and only if I bracket P I not included in maximal idea bracket P. So sorry. And so I, uh, I wrote something in my resume, but uh, not a complete pre proof. And so it is, the easiest case is if uh, A is, yeah, F hypersurface, then So, of course, IP, I means this is, of course, generated by FP, and this is F, so generated by FP minus 1. So, and so A is F pure. If I don't leave, F to the P minus one is not in bracket and the Q P. Uh, let me compute one example. So K X Y Z. Y. So uh, uh, in this expression, so we can allow P equal three two. And uh, yes, and of course, when is A F pure? So, of course, F equal X cube plus and so if P, uh, uh, it is very easy to s see that uh, so this breaks down for P equal two or three and so if p equal 3n plus 1, then <coughs> so p minus 1 equal 3n. So yeah, we take expansion of And, and so up to 3n, we are okay. So, so we, we distribute this to, yeah, so, ex, so expanding the, to monomials. So, 
here, uh, this, so this expansion contains x to the n plus n. n. And near two n, sorry. So, so we can put n here and n here, and still yeah, this is not contained in n bracket p. So this means that uh, so if p is three n plus one then the A is F pure. So instead, if P is 3N plus 2, so again, we distribute so this, uh, yeah, we distribute X square plus Y plus Z, Y, Z. In this case, three n plus one. So the most uh, so we take it's at at most n. So And we have still 2n plus 1. And then it is very easy to, so this expansion has somewhere uh, either y, or power of y or z is bigger than p. Okay, so, so this fits in And the bracket P, and then yeah, A is not F pure. And so it is proved by Elpic. Was that right? Uh, take yes cube. So F is a homogeneous cube. And yeah, isolate singularity. And in this case, it is proved. So uh, this A is. F pure for infinitely many P and also not F pure for infinitely many P. And this is uh, the most important is number theory. This is related to For this, <laughs> yeah, L is okay. So the guy <laughs> who showed is so 
so the, this elliptic curves is a superregular uh, for infinitely many p and uh, uh, no no uh, yeah ordinary for <laughs> and super singular for infinitely many p and for the okay. <laughs> huh? Okay, yes, yes, yes. So this is proved by. A uh, kiss. Yeah, ah, a uh, uh, kiss. Sorry. <laughs> yes, it was good to check. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> so. Uh, so this part is so, so it, the same thing becomes in higher dimension. And uh, so this is settled up to dimension three. So uh, in some sense, uh, we, we have two worlds. Uh, world of characteristic P and world of yeah. world of characteristic zero. So, uh, in some sense, we can come to here uh, uh, model P deduction. So I will explain that tomorrow. And uh, so for FPR, uh, and so usually, so if we have good things here, so in this direction is so you usually okay. And so, so you can uh, uh, suppose that if you you suppose if uh, this is character zero, then we have something like that in character p. And in this case, so, but uh, we would assume that uh, so. Uh, that, that property in KHS zero is called log canonical. So if, yeah, uh, FPR for sufficiently or, uh, yeah, maybe in future, for single p, <laughs> then we have log canonical. So uh, for single p, uh, so I say if we are fortunate, uh, <laughs> perhaps not yet. <laughs> but uh, so if uh, sufficiently many p, p, so it is okay. But uh, we would like to say the compass, so something good, given something good, then we, could, we want to ask, so if uh, this is so if pure for, for infinitely many p. And uh, I think that part was okay in dimension three, but uh, at least from dimension four, it is widely open. <laughs> okay, so. And, so. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I'm in some sense working on, uh, so not this problem that about so relationship between Relation uh, 
of pure rational singularity, rational. Regular. So, <laughs> we just erased, but so, uh, F regular and F pure are both characterized by injective envelope. So, so we have uh, this implication here. If the ring is F regular, then it is F pure. So, uh, of course, if tight closure is zero, then, of course, uh, it should be injective, flowing should be injective. And uh, so, in the, in the relation between these two, in some sense, uh, I'm working since uh, 1980, so there was a meeting in Japan in 1981. And that time, so Hockstar uh, informed me that uh, the weather's criterion. <laughs> it's a nice criterion. But still, we didn't know. As for, so for graded rings, So R is a rational singularity. Then we have negative invariant. And F here non-positive invariant. So from this, we would like to suppose Rational singularity imply a fear, but uh, actually that is not the case. Uh, so let me so example uh, is uh, okay. So. X T to the A, X inverse T to the B, X minus one, uh, yeah, T to C and T. This is a two-dimensional graded ring, normal graded ring. And so if, of course, this is generated by so it's obvious to see that uh, this time this is yeah, x, y minus p to x plus p. And so, what was the, yeah. Yeah, x. One more thing, <laughs> well, sorry. Uh, some mistake. So, anyway, so this is y z minus. So y you can, <laughs> yeah, have this yeah, e by easy computation, uh, because so. So if you know that x minus one, x equal, yeah, one plus. 
Yes. So, by this relation, you can find the relation. Okay. <laughs> so, so uh, the important thing is this R or T R. Y, y, Z, D, Z, uh, y, Z, Z, X. Now, this is a famous standard listening. In this case, delta is just three points. And uh, so it is for any, so, uh, yes, if, uh, uh, okay. so some idea generated by by square free monomials. And uh, so this is called standard licensing. So in, in this case, yeah. Since uh, uh, there is uh, no square free, it's very easy to show that. Uh, so injectively in, uh, yeah, yeah. So this is a so direct sum. So this means that standardized rings are FPR. Mm -hmm. And so and so when this R is FPR. So, actually, so, so I, <laughs> yeah, I'm out of time. So, so but to, yes. So if, yeah, if this is F pure, uh, this is all, always F rational. Uh, always F rational for every F rational. And if pure, um, is at the most one, and if regular, so we, you you can find plenty of A B C. Uh, which does not satisfy. So there are so many uh, yeah, if, uh, if rational things which are not FPR. And one more thing is that so if uh, yeah, if we divide R by so single element T, uh, where it is? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And so, so this is F pure, but there are many ABC choice of ABC, which does not give F pure. 
So that means FPI doesn't deform. Okay. So sorry for to be late. Ah, yes, yes, ah, yes, yes. Ah, uh, uh, F regular, yeah, of course, yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you.